think about the challenge that the world is facing, quite honestly. Over the next 40 years, we have to produce as much food as the entire planet produced in the previous 10,000 years of mankind. And that challenge basically can only be met through the uh, creation and delivery of some new technologies. We can meet challenges to feed a hungry world if we're allowed to produce and use the effective tools that we have available today. Food and farming is, in every meaning of the phrase, a way of life. It is a singular culture that supports a broader culture. Those few who remain in touch with the land, feeding the many who have drifted away from the land. And the modern history of farming is written in the discoveries of effective and productive cropping systems driven by weed control technologies like glyphosate. The glyphosate tolerant cropping system has fundamentally changed agriculture as we know it today. It's changed the way farmers make decisions and it's enabled them to maintain the way of life. And believe me, I come from a farm family. Farming is a way of life. The actual chemistry was very affordable and it made it very easy, very economical to control our weeds at a very high level. And when this technology came along, it was awesome. It gave us the opportunity to farm more acres, you know, with a lot less input, a lot less cost. Not only do we farm more, we do it faster, and we do a better job. And if you start taking that away, I think then, then we run into all types of problems. The chemistry of plants, and the chemistry of science share the same elements, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Surviving and thriving for plant or animal are a simple matter of stewardship of these elements, entrusted to those who work the land and harvest its bounty. Over time, nature adapts, and that is only natural. It is a way of life. More and more you hear about the problems that producers are having with weeds that are difficult to control with glyphosate or have developed some level of resistance to glyphosate. If growers in the upper Midwest don't think there could be a problem, they should take a little trip down south and see farmers who are battling this problem. While weed management issues threaten the future of the glyphosate-tolerant cropping system, Technological innovations will sustain and advance modern farming practices, enabling farmers to continue farming the way they prefer. The resistance that we have now will cause farmers to have to go back and use mechanical tillage practices. The mechanical weed cultivation, if we have to go back to that, then my productivity will decrease. You really have to have two key pieces. You've got to have a great trait that provides excellent tolerance. You've got to have a chemical solution that delivers the weed control that growers need. The future of farming rests in the ability to sustain effective weed control methods. The future of life on this planet rests in technology that will fulfill the needs of tomorrow, such as the nature of the Enlist weed control system. It is Dow AgroScience's commitment to extending glyphosate-tolerant crops today and innovating new products that are effective for tomorrow. Just the fundamental types of science that we're doing today is so much different than just 10 years ago. Entire new disciplines exist. What we're trying to do with this new system is enable growers to continue to have highly effective, convenient, uh, weed control systems that are sustainable in the long term. Today, every farmer on every farm is at the same crossroads. The crossroads of science and chemistry and a responsibility to humanity. The point at which solving problems becomes a way of doing business. A way of doing business that will keep farming a way of life. We need to look at, at the resource that our farms are 
making them repeatable, making them sustainable, so that we have a farming system that's valid for the next several years. My son enjoys farming, but he's going to have to understand that farming in the past is not like it's going to be in the future. I can remember my grandparents thinking that we wouldn't be able to produce enough food to feed the people of the world. I think we can do it. So I think it's very important that if we're looking at feeding a hungry world, we look at maximizing production on the best land and making sure that the best land is extremely productive.